thank you for viewing us from the Diplomat Center, Global Diplomat College Center, Greenville, South Carolina, Joseph Forbes, the Holy Prophet and Ambassador, transforming students into leaders, leaders into agents of change. That's transforming students into leaders, leaders into agents of change. Thank you for joining us in this online seminar. Our focus is session, rediscover, repent, believe, good news. Rediscover, repent, Belief, good news. Part one. Ang ating session topic na yon ay rediscover, repent, believe, good news. Part one. The Bible is a collection of God's idea. It Ang is. Ang Biblia ay collection ng idea ng Dios. It is a library. consist of 66 books. Ito ay isang aklata na naglalaman ng anim na putanim na aklat. You cannot experience what you do not understand. Hindi mo mararanasan ang bagay na hindi mo nauunawaan. To rediscover means to find Para muling tuklasin, ibig sabihin ito ay muling hanapin. Find something that was lost, forgotten, again. Hanapin ang bagay na nawala at nakalimutan muli. To discover. Tuklasin. The church lost the kingdom message. Nawala sa iglesia ang mensahe ng karian. The pastor must find the kingdom message. Kinakailangan ng mga pastor na hanapin ang mensahe ng karian. The bishop must discover the kingdom message. Ang mga bishop ay kailangan muling tuklasin ang mensahe ng karian. The government lost the message. The Congress and the Senate and the legislative body lost the message. Ang pamahalaan, ang politiko, ang kongreso at ang le- legislative body ng gobyerno ay nawala ang mensahe ng karyan. Scientists, doctor, the medicals, medical profession, the business community, the legal community lost the kingdom message. Ang mga scientists, ang mga doktor, ang mga eksperto sa medisina, ang mga komunidad ng negosyo ay nawala din ang mensahe ng karyan. Denomination and organizations had buried the kingdom message in the graveyard of religion. Ang mga dinaminasyon at iba't ibang organisasyon ay inilibing ang mensahe ng karian sa libingan ng kanilang mga reliyon. Going to the altar, saying the sinner prayer, Lord, come in my heart, make me a sinner. I now accept you as my Savior. Do not change your mind. Ang pagpunta sa altar, pagsasabi ng sinner's prayer ay hindi makakapagbabago ng iyong isipan. Do not change your heart. Hindi mababago ang iyong puso. We being miseducated. Tayo ay namali ng tuturo. To be miseducated is to be taught wrong. Ang ibig sabihin nito, ikaw ay naturuan ng mali. One, rediscover. 
Una, muling tuklasin. Two, repent. Pangalawa, magsisi. Repent means change. A completely change. Change your mind. Change your heart. Ganap na pagbabago ng iyong puso at isipan. Change the way of thinking, your mentality, your belief system. Baguhin ang pamamaraan ng iyong pag-iisip, ng iyong mentalidad, ng iyong sistema ng paniniwala. Change into a new way. Go a different direction. Have a complete U-turn around. Magkaroon ng tunay na pagbabago doon sa lugar sa pamamaraan na ikaw ay babalik muli. Come up higher. The word re, re, is a precept. The word P, E, R, T, repent, means come up higher. Ang ibig sabihin ng salitang repent ay... Umakyat ka sa itaas. It means come up higher. Big sabihin ito ay umakyat ka pa itaas. For example, when you go to a different country, you must make your reservation. Buy your ticket. Inquire for a visa application. On grant the visa to you, you buy your ticket and you head to the airport. Go into the airport, you check in to your representative, the ticket agents. You board the plane. You come, when the plane take off, you know more on the ground, you come up higher. To go to a different direction, you must come up higher. Pag ikaw ay pupunta sa isang bansa, mukunga ka ng reservation, bibili ka ng ticket, mag apply ka ng visa, pupunta ka sa airport, at pupunta doon sa representative mo, kung saan bumili ka ng ticket, at pag akit mo sa aeroplano, ikaw ay sasakay sa aeroplano, ang aeroplano ay aakyat na, tataas na, papailang lang na. Why? You must repent. You must change your mind. Three. Belief. Jesus address your belief system. Your mindset. Belief means faith. Belief means confidence. Belief means trust. Pangatlo ay manampalataya o maniwala. Ang ibig sabihin nito ay pananampalataya, pagtitiwala, at yun na, pagtitiwala. Belief system. Belief system are principles. Your religion, your philosophy, your theology, your concept, and all that you have stored in your conscious mind and download on your subconscious mind. Ang sistema ng paniniwala, ito ay mga prinsipyo sa reliyon, sa filosofiya, sa teologiya, konsepto, at sa mga bagay na inimbak mo sa iyong malay kamalayan ng isip at ito ay na-store na punta na imbak doon sa iyong kubmalay na kaisipan all the service you attend all the prayer meeting all the sermons that you pass to teach it develop your belief system uh, kapit po sa panalangin mga sermon ng iyong pastor ay mga sistema ng paniniwala now, you must discover if the teaching are true or not. And who is the source where that teaching arrived? 
Lord, ating muling tutasin kung saan nagmula ang mga katuruan ng mga bagay na yon. Your belief system develop your faith. What you believe, your philosophy, your theology, your moral conduct, your living standard, it develop you, who you are, what you are. Ang iyong pilosopya, ay iyong teologiya, ang imburi ng pamumuhay at ang iyong mga pag-uugali ay ito ay kung sino ka. Nasa every human, every human has a belief system. Ang bawat tao ay mayroong sistema ng paniniwala. The woman and man who sleeping on the bridge, they believe that in their mind and their thought. What keep them under that bridge? Their belief system. Yung taong yun na natutulog sa ilalim ng uh, tulay ay meron siyang pani sistema ng paniniwala kung bakit siya doon natutulog. The man that sit on the street in the city corner and he asks for the cardboard paper on his and on the cardboard has I'm homeless. God bless you. That man, he be there all the time, week after week. That's his belief system. Yung tao na nakaupo sa karsada, dun sa kanto, na may cardboard na nakasulat na God bless you, ay linggo-linggo ay naandun siya. Siya ay may sistema ng paniniwala kung bakit ginagawa niya yun. Your conscious mind give you the awareness of your surrounding, the world around you. It give you your awareness of everything that you see. Your subconscious mind deposit your conscious mind deposit everything that you believe and what you see in your hard drive in your subconscious mind. Ang inyong kamalayang kaisipan ay meron siyang kamalayan sa lahat ng iyong kapaligiran at sa mga bagay na nakikita mo. At ito ay inilalagay niya sa kanyang kugmalay na kaisipan. Your subconscious mind is, your heart is in your subconscious mind. Ang iyong puso at ang iyong kalooban ay nasa iyong kugmalay na kaisipan. Whatever a man think in his heart. So is he. Now we begin with the seminar. We'll address that in a text, two texts. The texts are, I'll read it. Mark 1, 14, 15. After John was arrested, Jesus went to Galilee preaching the good news. The time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God has come nigh. Repent and believe in the good news that is two words of scripture which is two texts you cannot preach from a text you must preach to by a pretext we go to on the pretext to give you the knowledge the information, the revelation, and the truth. What are John 1, John 1, 14, 15 is saying. Now we go to it. We begin with Mark 1. The beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. And it is written... In Isaiah, the prophet, this teaching 
on, rediscover, repent, believe, good news. It is written in Isaiah. Isaiah prophesied. He saw with an eagle eye about the gospel, the good news. He never experienced it. He never lived in it. He never applied it. He saw it. You and I are blessed to be living in it, to apply it. Wow. Am I making myself clear to you? Look, I am sending my messenger ahead of you who will prepare your way, a voice of one crying out in the wilderness. Prepare the way for the Lord, make his part straight. Dito sinusugo ko ang aking sugo sa unahan ng iyong mukha na maganda ng iyong daan. Ang tinig ng isang sumisigaw sa ilang, ihanda ninyo ang daan ng Panginoon, tuwirin ninyo ang kanyang mga landas. John the Baptist was a representative of the king. He was an envoy king to introduce the coming of a king. The Lord Jesus Christ. Si Juan Bautista nga ay kumakatawan sa isang hari. Siya ay envoy para ipakilala ang pagdating ng Panginoong Yesu Cristo. John was a forerunner of Jesus Christ. He introduced Siya. the Messiah. Si Juan Bautista nga ang forerunner ng ating Panginoong Yesus at ipinakilala niya o pinangunahan niya ang ipakilala ang ating Panginoong Yesus. Repent and believe the good news. Mark 1, 15. The time is fulfilled. And the kingdom of God has come nigh. The time means that dispensation, that pure time that Isaiah saw coming. And Jesus the king came. And he said the time is fulfilled. Now is the time. It's not a prophetic age. It's not a healing age. It's the age of the kingdom of God. God extend, establish his heavenly kingdom on earth. Now is the time. Repent and believe in the good news. Magsisi at magsisampalataya sa magandang balita. Millions and thousands of folks believe in the prosperity message. Thousands believe in the born again gospel. There are ideology, there are theology of evangelical, of Presbyterians, of uh, those Pentecostal. They are man made idea. Bibulibo ang nananampalataya sa prosperity gospel, sa born again gospel, ito ay teolohiya, pilosopiya at gawa-gawa lamang ng tao, ideya ng tao. Now it's time to believe in what is written. The good news. Now, I want to make this clear to every denomination, every pastor, every church everywhere around the world. I want to make this clear. The gospel is not the blood. The gospel is not the cross. The gospel is not Calvary. The gospel is not the resurrection. The gospel is the good news of the kingdom of God. 
the gospel is the good news of the kingdom of God. There is one Lord. The word Lord means king. One king. One faith. One baptism. Thousands of folks are establishing churches. Millions of folks are preaching in YouTube, so Facebook, social media, TBN, Word Network, and other platforms. Thousands are writing books. But what are they teaching? There is one Lord. The word Lord means sir, master. The word Lord means king. There is one, one faith, one belief, one baptism, one God. I'm Father, Abba, Papa, our source, our sustainer, our provider, one of all who are over all, through all, and in you all. He is over, he is above, he is in, and he's true. He is above, is over, is true, and is in you all. Wow. Only one. Am I making myself clear to you? Only one. Romans 1, 2, and 3. Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ. The word servant mean a representative. The word servant mean and boy and a sent one of the king, an ambassador of the king, of Christ. The word Christ mean anointed king. Called to be an apostle and set apart for the gospel of God. What is the gospel of God? The gospel of God is the good news of the kingdom of God. The gospel is the kingdom of God. It is the good news of the kingdom of God. The gospel that was promised beforehand through his holy prophet. The gospel is promised. It is a law. It is a command. It is God's idea. It is God's purpose. It was promised through his prophet in the Holy Scripture regarding his son who asked to his earthly ministry life was a descendant of David. Wow. Summons in a law a command. He command the twelve disciple. He give them power. Every human seek power. Why do folk want to be a president? Why do you want to be a congressman? Why do you want to be a senator or mayor? You seek power. Why do you want to get rich? You seek power. All human seek power. God gave us power in the kingdom of God and authority over all demons. And power 
to heal all diseases. Then he sent them to proclaim the kingdom of God, heal the sick. Wow. They were sent to proclaim the kingdom of God and heal the sick. Wow. Am I making myself clear? Romans 28. After reaching the day with him, came to him in his lodging from down in the dark, exposing and witness about the kingdom of God. He preached them concerning Jesus, how both law of Moses of the prophet, so were persuaded by whom which he um, eat others in believe. God to this people and say, you listen, listen, you never understand. You look, look, and never proceed it. For the people's heart is gross, and their heart of hearing. They have about eyes, otherwise they might see with their eyes and hear with their ears, understand with their heart, and I will heal them. Wow. Romans 1. Romans 1. First, I thank my God. Through Jesus Christ, for all of you, because of the news you have faith in being reported in the whole world, for your faith have been reported in the whole world, God, whom I serve with my spirit, telling the good news about his son. It's my witness and continuously mention you. I serve him with my spirit. The good news, for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For therein is the power of God unto salvation. Paul stayed two years in his own rented house, preaching and welcome all that came to him. And he preached. What did he preach? What Paul preached? He preached the kingdom of God. And things concerning the Lord Jesus Christ. No man forbid him. What Paul preached? The kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is the only true message. Jesus Christ only preached one message. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, who is in you, who is through you, who is above you. A kingdom is a government led by a king. Believed in the good news. And this gospel this good news about the kingdom of God shall be preached to every human, all of mankind, in every nation, in every city, throughout the whole world. The kingdom of God is the only power that will set your city free. And the Lord is the Spirit. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. The only thing that can bring your city, heal your city, heal your nation, is the kingdom of God. Wow.
I want you to understand me. There is only one race out of all nation God made man to dwell on the earth. One blood out of all nation. There's only one race. That's the human race. That is the human race. Am I making myself clear? Receive and believe in the good news. Folks supporting missionaries and they're supporting all these folks in YouTube and they're not preaching the good news. They're preaching the gospel of the Pope, of Catholicism. They're preaching a message Jesus Christ never gave them to preach. Rediscover this message. The only message Jesus preached. Jesus died, descended in the earth, rose up the third day, and when he rise from the dead, he showed himself alive with many infallible proof. After speaking 40 days to his disciple, and he preaching, he was teaching the things concerning the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is the only message the world needs. What is the kingdom of God? The kingdom of God is God's government. The difference between the kingdom of God and the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven is a country. It's a place. It's the abode of God. The kingdom of God is a community. The kingdom of God is a colony. God extend his heavenly kingdom on earth in the believer heart, in the citizen heart. Rediscover, repent, believe, good news, part one. From Global Diplomat College Center, Greenville, South Carolina, USA. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth, just like it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen and amen. God bless you, and God bless all the nations of the world. Glory to God 